Hello and welcome back to the journey with FC Smorgan and we are now here in the highest league of Belarus which is about the 23rd best league in Europe. So that's decent, that should help my reputation. Um, I suppose first things first, transfers, that's probably the most important thing isn't it? Let's go into the transfers, so uh, we brought in uh, 13k worth and sold 3k. Uh, so I'll take you through some of the transfers we made, so we brought in uh, Alisha Jaliov, um, who is a Tajikistani international, three and a half star current, four and a half star potential. He looks absolutely amazing. Yes, he's on 2.4k, but he's here for the next two seasons at least. Decent player for most highest league sides and really just a great player. Uh, we also signed uh, Andy Burgess, a 19 year old American right back. Two star current, five star potential. I mean, look at those physicals. It's, they're really nice physicals. Um, so he's only well suited to first league football, which obviously he can't play in because of rules. But he can be a highest league right back in the future, and that's kind of what we're hoping. He's more for the future than anything else. Uh, we brought in Mikhail Belly, two star current, three and a half star potential. It said he was two and a half star current and five star potential. Uh, when we scouted him, and he's not really turned out that way. But he's only 20 years old, he's only on £525 a month, so I'm not too disappointed in that signing. Um, we brought in uh, Jacob Akron, uh, who is a 3.5 star current, 3.5 star potential, because he's 25, he's already hit his peak apparently. Uh, just a really good centre-back, 14 tackling, 14 marking, you know, just... Sort of a solid Ghanaian centre back to really shore us up at the back. Uh, we brought in Vladislav Kemalevsky, who is another centre back, uh, two star current, four star potential, one for the future. He's only 20 years old. Um, we got him on a free, so I'm not too you know, disappointed in that. Uh, we brought back, this is our only paid signing, we brought back Yuri Pavlokovits, three star current, four and a half star potential. Um, what is the thing? Yeah, so he's a decent player for most highest league sides uh, and a potential to be a leading player in the future. So that is a really good signing, I think. Really good physicals. Obviously, he was here last season, helped us get promoted. So I trust him a lot. He's got 221 caps. Obviously, not capped for Belarus just yet, but I think that's coming. Uh, we brought back uh, Roman Plekov on loan. Uh, three star current, five star potential. Uh, did really well last season for us. Um, so we got, yeah, three assists in 11 games. I felt it was good enough to bring him back. Because uh, at the time, I couldn't find a right midfielder to replace him when he left. So I brought him back. Uh, we brought in Jonas Levanens, who is a 24-year-old Finnish left back. Who is three and a half star current, four star potential. Um, we sort of needed a young... Both our left backs, one wasn't good enough, one was too old. He was like 32, he's going to start declining quite rapidly, I feel. He's been playing in the Premier League of Finland um, for the last two seasons. And just really, I feel we sort of needed more depth there. Um, we brought in Vangel Vogli, who is a 20-year-old Albanian centre-back. One and a half star current, three and a half star potential. Got him in on a free, so once again, not too worried about this one. But he looks like he'll be pretty decent. He just needs to really work on his physicals and he'll be pretty outstanding. Uh, we brought in Troy Archibald Henville, who if you are an Exeter fan, you should recognise. Uh, it said he was a five-star current, five-star potential. He was a free agent, so I brought him in. And while he is very good, you know, look at the stats. You know, all the necessary ones are looking good. But he's only three-star current, three-star potential. And he's on 1.6k, so I don't know how long he'll stay here for. Uh, but he could be moving on soon. Uh, we also brought in Caleb, who is a 25-year-old Brazilian. Four-star current, four-star potential, uh, right midfielder. Once again, this guy wasn't on our radar because he was offered to me after we'd already signed Plekov, literally on deadline day. And I saw him and I thought, we have to sign him because Plekov is only on loan. Um, he's on 1.8k, just a really decent uh, right winger. He's actually got good crossing, which I don't really have. Um, Giorgio Conrotti as well, a 30-year-old Italian centre-back, three and a half star current, three and a half star potential, 
really good mental stats. I'll need him to like tutor some people, I feel. But he'll need to learn uh, Russian before we can do that. Uh, we brought in Lucas, who is an 18-year-old Brazilian. Three and a half star current, five star potential. Should be really good uh, in centre midfield. And we've got a new backup goalkeeper in Fernando Arellano, a 21-year-old American. Two and a half star current, five star potential. Looks much better than Pristupa, who just didn't look great at all. Uh, leaving the club was Petrov. Uh, he went to Neman Grodno. Uh, Alex Zarsky went on loan to Torpedo Minsk. A bunch of players were released and Pankovic uh, retired. Although we didn't have him, he was on loan and he just happened to retire. I was actually bringing some players at the back end of last year. I brought in uh, Joe Adej, uh, who is a four and a half star current, five star potential Ghanaian attacking midfielder already with 520 caps. Um, just looks really good. His determination is dropping because we have a low determination squad and it's really, really annoying. And we need to really fix that quickly. Um, but yeah, this guy will hopefully lead us because he is, you know, I feel would be good enough to get into Bait Borisov, who are obviously the best team in Belarus. Um, so today we're going to be playing uh, Belshina, who obviously got uh, promoted with us. They came up through the playoffs. Um, so... Yeah, let's hope we can... This should be a team that we should win, because we are predicted to finish um, third bottom, I believe. Yeah, so we're predicted to finish third bottom, which is the relegation playoff spots. Yeah, so if we finish here, we have to play the team that finished third in the first league. So hopefully, if we finish there, I feel we're good enough to beat that team, as long as we're not too down. Maybe if we finish the form the season in some good form, we should be able to do that just fine. Um, so this is the tactic we're going for. We're going to stick with this uh, tactic at the moment. Um, so you're only allowed five foreign players in the starting lineup. Um, so uh, we've had to uh, leave out some of our better players like uh, Kunroto uh, and Caleb. Just because, well, first of all, they're not really fit. So that doesn't help. But also because you just, we, just, we already have four foreign players on the pitch. We have a fifth. Suddenly it becomes awkward to bring them on because you have to bring them on for a foreign player. It's just not worth the hassle. Uh, so we're going to stick with uh, the same attacking formation we used last season. Kalidovic is still in goal. Uh, Levanan, our new left back on the left. Arkhipov on the right with Shumanov and Akron in the middle. Pavlukovic and Jalov uh, as the centre mids. Zorov and Plakov on the wings. Adej as the advanced playmaker. And Grabowski, who got 20 goals last year up front uh, so hopefully we can score a lot of goals so i'll see you in a second at the match all right here we are um so if we look at the analysis we're favorites odds they're favorites brilliant um so it came up with our previous results for them and most times we played them last season were draws so hopefully we can oh god bait lost okay so bait have lost so Maybe they won't win the league this year. They're going to win the league this year. Um, so there's nothing else to do except get into I suppose. Uh, so they're playing a standard 4-4-2 formation. Um, I don't know that they've really brought in some people who aren't Belarusian. So they might actually have a better talking. Because I feel that with the fact we've got what two Ghanaians. Someone from Finland. Uh, Jalov is from Turkmenistan. So he can speak Russian. So that should be fine. But... You've got three players in a squad who don't really speak Russian. Oh no, Adej has got basic Russian, so he should be fine. Um, but yeah, they could go uh, backwards, possibly. Alright, let's get into this. So we're away from home, opening game of the season. It's a lovely uh, March uh, evening. Trying to make conversation. Alright, so this is the first highlight. Susha kicks it forward, but we intercept with Levin. And Berger picks it up. It's Komarov. Oh, God. Roddy. That's not a good start. Considering that Klidovic only conceded 10 goals last season, all season, to concede after 8 minutes is not great. And it looks like they're having the better of it at the moment. Considering they're going to be down there with us, we kind of 
need to get something out of this match. So far, nothing is happening for us. Still nothing is happening. There's a lot of, a lot of like free kicks and yellow cards happening. That's what's happening. Not much else. No, nothing is happening. This is very dull. If you want to do something else, please be my guest. Like, <laughs> oh, there's a highlight. Here we go. Kicks it long. Grabowski wins the header. Jalov heads it to nobody. Adej. Zurov. Pavlokovic. Jalov. Adej picks it up. Gets tackled. Oh god. Oh, is their highlight after all that? They're just going to hit us on the counter. Is that it? Tackle him. Nope. Come on, we got to do better than this. You're the bears. Be bears. Tackle him. Oh, that was Shumanov. He asked to be in the squad. Because I was dropping him. So I let him in. And he's just done that. That is terrible. He's playing a 6.1. If you're going to complain about the fact that you've been dropped. Then you've got to play well. And he's just, just not really doing that. So Conroto's coming on for him. It's not been good enough. We need an improvement in the second half. There is no excuse to be 2 0 down to the team that got promoted with us. Uh, okay, so while we're here, the plan for this season is to. Oh, there's a highlight. Before I get into that, let's. Hopefully, we score here. Jalov. Grabowski. Oh, it's a good save from their keeper, Shishesha. Shishesha? That's his name. Adej. It, oh, it's just pimbled around. Hey, well, the plan is to hopefully, if we look like we're going to stay up, stay with them till the end of the season and let my contract run out and look for a new club because they are in financial dire straits. Um, but uh, obviously, I might not stay here the entire time because uh, you know, I'm not planning to stay here the entire time. Uh, Pavlo Kvitz is not playing great. Um, so there's a good chance I, I might leave before the end of the season if it looks like we're going down. Possibly. Because of the financial situation and the fact that we'd be getting relegated and that would be on my CV. And it would make it very hard to get another job. But the fact that we're losing 2-0 and we just don't look like we're in this game at all. Although we're breaking now. Grabowski. Grabowski, and he's missed. I don't know how this team went unbeaten last year. Like, this team have only gotten stronger, and yet they look worse. Which is odd. Yeah, Lucas is coming on then. I don't really know what else to do. Like, <laughs> we've not really got another decent striker, and I couldn't find one who's willing to come. And Grabowski hits it. How did he score 20 goals last season? He scored four in one match. You saw it against Minsk. That was in the last episode. Like, I feel like this team has improved a lot. And yet they're playing like... They haven't. They've gotten worse. Plekov. Okay, it's 2-1. We're not out of this yet, I suppose. We've got a chance. We might nick a draw, which is kind of what we want. No, we're not going to get a draw. We've got 10 seconds. And there the team come forward. Akron doesn't get red carded. Brilliant. Oh, that's a terrible start to the season. That was terrible. I'm going to tell Shumanov off because he was just dire. Absolutely dire. 
it's just not good enough, is it? It was a terrible performance. Ah, uh, where's Shumanov? Criticised last game. There you go, at least he understands that. Um, okay, so... We're going to come back for the games against Torpedo Zadino and Dynamo Minsk. Uh, so I will see you in a couple of episodes time uh, to deal with that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please like and subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitter at LuckySparks1393 and I'll see you later. Bye bye.